I always tried to be fair. I really always tried to be very fair and listen, and I think they appreciated that. Well, I was, I was, of course, very flattered to be nominated for the Hall of Fame to begin with, and and you know a little bewildered that I was <laughs> in duck, uh, selected to go into the into it, but um, I think like most people, you really. I was visiting two or three times with Lahoma and and. Oh, not long ago in Redosa, we were at a Spencer Theater function, and we were sitting just as a by happenstance with, at a table with some people from New Mexico State that had graduated from New Mexico State. And as we talked about things, and it became obvious to me they were very successful and good. And as we got, went home later on, I told the home, I, I said, I don't really feel like I deserve this. And not trying to be modest, but you really. You really are flattered, but you almost feel like somebody kind of made a mistake, or um, and I think that anyone that takes themselves very seriously or really thinks they're anything but pretty fortunate to have an honor like this, then you know they're. They're, they've got something out of whack because, uh, you know, you, you can't take yourself very seriously for long. Being involved in politics was, uh, I, I spent one term on the city council and being involved and being mayor pro tem and, and I found that, again, Personally, my nature is non-confrontational, so I I found that I would come out of city council meetings and, and my arms would ache, and, and I finally figured out what I was doing is I was sitting there doing isometrics just like this, <laughs> and I'd look out there in that audience and and I'd say to myself, you know, there's not a soul out there that's here to tell us what a good job we're doing. They've all got some agenda, something they want, and it's going to be confrontational. And so after my first term, or the three years, I felt like uh, that I was probably not going to be as productive. I know that when I would, after I would, I always had a, we had two papers morning and evening, and after the council meetings in the morning, I'd always go home and read the evening paper to see what I said, because what I thought I said and what was reported in the paper was very seldom the same thing. And I finally decided that it was just, you know, I'd done my part and it was time for somebody else and that uh, it was taking time away from my business and, and, and affecting my attitude and, and I enjoyed it. It was fun to try to help, but you began dealing with all of the, well, so many facets of it that it was good, it was fun, and I'm glad I did it. What would I like people to remember before? I think, I, you know, just like anybody else, I suppose, not, not anything that I've, title that I've really held, not any award that I've gotten, just as that it was somebody, that I was someone that was okay to be around, that I was, they enjoyed being with it, that I was caring about my family, that, that, uh, you know, that, that it was just, that it was just okay that I was around. Uh, I, I don't want to be remembered for anything that I've accomplished or, or be specific as just, uh, you know, it was okay that I was here and they enjoyed being around me. I'm, a, I'm very thankful to begin with, with my parents because uh, they were solid and sound. My father, I've often used the illustration that he could be 
falling out of an airplane from 10,000 feet with no parachute, telling everybody to remain calm and cool. My mother was a wonderful wife. I've been very fortunate to be married uh, to a wonderful lady for a lot of years. Uh, I, I really have been very fortunate to have four children that understood, have now understood the intensity with which I built companies and that I was doing this for perhaps the times that I wasn't with them, maybe when I should have been, but that now understand how much I really cared for them and, and do, and, and that they've always known it. It's just I have a chance to show it better. Uh, I, I'm grateful for all those things, and I'm grateful, very grateful, Tom, to a lot of older people now that were when I was trying to get started, whether it was in high school or college or business, that for some reason would take the time to spend with me to help, to, to try to say, Dick, this is really what you need to be looking at. This is what you need to be doing. And whether I listened to it or not at the time, I absorbed, apparently, a lot of it, and those people help. So I'm, I'm really grateful to a lot of people that I really can't name all of, that I that, uh, really can't be that specific about, but that really did influence my life, that took the time to influence my life. And of course, you know, as, as I said, my, you know, number one priority is my family that, that uh, helped me, you know, through all of this.